coming up Chelsea are reportedly set to replace Todd Burley as their chairman in 2027. Now furious Chelsea fans have told the club to sack the entire medical team after three more players joined the injury list, despite none of them playing during international break. Keep watching as we dive into the main content. Remember to smash the like, subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss our daily Chelsea update. In our first news in this update, some furious Chelsea fans tell the club to sack the entire medical team after three more players joined the already long injury list, despite none of them playing during international break. The Blues offered an update on the club's injury situation on Thursday, confirming Trevor Chalabar, Carney Chukwemeka and Robert Sanchez have all joined their lengthy injury list. All three players have picked up problems despite not having played over the international break. The news follows confirmation earlier this week that summer signing Romeo Lavia has been ruled out for the rest of the season with a thigh injury, leaving Chelsea fans irate at the injury situation. Pochettino is obviously short of options once again for Chelsea's next game against Burnley in the Premier League on Saturday. The Chelsea boss also told a pre-match press conference that Ben Chilwell could miss out with a knock while Enzo Fernandez is yet to return from international duty with Argentina. Chelsea host Burnley at Stamford Bridge and will be aiming to maintain a four-match unbeaten run in all competitions. Former Chelsea centre-back Gary Cahill has urged the club's supporters to exhibit patience and throw their support behind both the manager and the players as the club undergoes a transition under new ownership. The players have been facing mounting pressure in every game, compounded by the scrutiny directed at manager Mauricio Pochettino, particularly when results do not go in their favour. In a recent incident, Fans taunted the manager during a 4-2 victory over Leicester City. Some fans who remain critical of Pochettino express frustration at what they perceive as a lack of progress under the Argentine manager. Cahill witnessed the Blues 1-0 League Cup loss to Liverpool and consequently is aware that the team is under the proper leadership and moving correctly. Speaking to Standard Sport, he further said, It is clear that it is going to take time. The average age of the squad is very very young. I was at the League Cup final and they had chances to win that. It would have been a good moment for them, but the squad is still growing, learning, and adapting to all the changes. Now Chelsea are reportedly set to replace Todd Burley as their chairman in 2027. The American co-owner has struggled to win over the support of the Blues fanbase since his arrival, and matters appear to be going from bad to worse for him at Stamford Bridge. According to the Daily Mail, an agreement has been reached which will see chairmanship pass between the co-owners of the club every five years. The extraordinary plan is set to be enacted at the end of the 2026-27 when Burley is replaced as chairman. The co-owners of the club feel that the 50-year-old was given the opportunity to have gone first, despite having a minority stake in the club. Burley has an equal split of a 38.5% stake in with the Blues, with Hans-Jörg Wiss and Mark Walter. The remaining 61.5% is owned by Clear Lake Capital, managed by Bedad Egbali and Jose Feliciano. It remains to be seen whether the private equity firm decide to take up the chairmanship mantle from Burley in 2027. The first appointment in the role is said to have been connected to the initial terms of the acquisition of the club in 2022 when the new ownership took control, which stated that the American owners group would pay any first losses in the event of a realization or a sale. It remains to be seen whether Egbali or Feliciano decide to take the chairman role from Burley when the vacancy arrives, or whether the pair opt to bring in a fresh pair of hands and appoint a third party to take control for a five-year spell. A decision has not been made on the matter yet, though there is an insistence that there will be a new chairman at that time. Burley would also be able to reclaim the role in 2032 if he so wishes, or his first stint as chairman could prompt his group to look elsewhere for a suitable candidate. Chelsea legend Gianfranco Zola has warned Mauricio Pochettino that striking the right balance of experience and youth in the dressing room will be crucial to achieving success at Stamford Bridge. The former Tottenham Hotspur boss arrived last summer under the weight of great expectations, and the Blues are ambling towards a second consecutive bottom-half finish. Zola, who scored 80 goals in 312 games for Chelsea, is not surprised. Speaking to William Hill he said, they used to have a core team of four or five players with the likes of Frank Lampard, John Terry, Didier Drogba, Branislav Ivanovic among a couple of others. And Chelsea would build their team around those players. Those players had the knowledge, the experience, the character and the personality which all combined with the know-how of how to be a successful team and be winners. Those players were the ones to spread those fundamental traits to the new players within the team, as well as many of the players who came up through the ranks in the youth team. 
Zola added, I have no doubt that Chelsea haven't managed to strike the balance between bringing in young players with potential and having a big enough base of experienced senior players. Some of the players that they had who they let go were important, I think they had that know-how and could have stayed longer because they needed to transfer that knowledge to the young ones. Mauricio Pochettino isn't happy that Ben Chilwell played the majority of England's international double header, with the left back now a doubt to feature for Chelsea this weekend. The left back played the full 90 minutes for three Lions as they battled to a late draw with Belgium at Wembley in midweek, having played 67 minutes of the weekend loss to Brazil. And while Pochettino bemoaned bad luck, he isn't pleased that Chilwell, who has only played six Premier League games for the Blues since September due to a serious hamstring injury and a recent knee issue, played such a big part. It has left the former Leicester man unable to train before their clash with Burnley on Saturday. Asked about Chilwell's injury and his playing time for his country, Pochettino said, I don't know. If he cannot play with us or be available, it's because he didn't play after Brentford with us. He played a few minutes against Leicester. He started two games. It's a surprise for us, but it's bad luck because he got a dead leg in the last moment of the game against Belgium. Now Cole Palmer was another Chelsea star in England's squad for the recent internationals, but the playmaker failed to get a single minute due to a minor injury. Palmer has been the standout performer at Stamford Bridge this term and is new to the England setup, but Pochettino confessed the youngster was disappointed by the outcome. He said, yes, he is a little bit disappointed because he couldn't play or perform with the national team. He had a small problem for the first game and thought he could play the second game. He is okay and training well. I think the plan is if he trains in the same way, he will be available for the game on Saturday. The Chelsea boss has again attempted to try to defuse the hostility towards Raheem Sterling. In terms of numbers, Sterling has delivered a solid return since arriving at Stamford Bridge in the summer of 2022, contributing 17 goals and 14 assists from 74 appearances. However, a lack of consistency and several questionable decisions made during games has resulted in the England international receiving criticism from his own fanbase. During the FA Cup quarter-final with Leicester City before the international break, Sterling was roundly booed after a wayward free kick, with the effort coming on the back of a missed penalty, after taking the ball off Cole Palmer, and a squandered one-on-one -on -one opening. Speaking to the media after the game, Pochettino leapt to the defense of the 29-year-old, who continues to be linked with a transfer elsewhere in the summer. It's about being calm now and accept the situation. The most important thing is to deal with this situation with our experience. I really believe our fans love our players and for sure they are going to support him and the result of the team. The teammates need to be good teammates and can talk and express the emotions. But I think we need to be careful in the way we are talking and give our opinions because we need to build a relationship with everyone. I said after the game versus Leicester that, I don't agree because always the players want to play well and score goals. This type of situation is bigger to only pay attention to what happened. I was also suffering the anger of the fans because of the disappointment of the fans. Meanwhile Chelsea winger Noni Madueke also says he is upset by the criticism directed towards teammate Raheem Sterling in recent weeks, which included boos being aimed at him during the club's FA Cup win over Leicester City. It's so important to support him. I'm nobody to tell you not to have an opinion but I also have mine. That's one of my teammates and the criticism is harsh and unfair. It's our duty to voice our opinion and try to change the narrative a bit. Raheem is an exceptional footballer and an even better person. It's a bit upsetting when I see some of the criticism. Madueke added, I'm sure he can handle it but we know how important he is for us. He's definitely a big brother figure for a lot of us. There is a lot that people don't see. All I know is that he's exceptional and super committed to the cause. Arsenal youngster Ethan Nwanery signs first professional contract after turning down Manchester City and Chelsea. The midfielder shot to fame last season when he became the youngest player in Premier League history, making his debut at just 15 years and 181 days old, overtaking Harvey Elliott's previous record of 16 years and 30 days. The midfielder came off the bench to make his debut in added time against Brentford, with Arsenal three goals ahead. He also featured off the bench during Arsenal's 6-0 Premier League victory over West Ham United in February 2024. Nwanery has long been tipped for the top and he has been courted by both Chelsea and Manchester City, however Arsenal have announced that the youngster has signed his first professional contract with the club. Fabrizio Romano has clarified that there is no concrete interest from Chelsea in a potential transfer for Dani Olmo, despite speculation linking the Spanish forward to the club. 
Olmo, who has a 60 million euros release clause, has drawn attention from other European clubs. Currently plying his trade for Bundesliga side RB Leipzig, Olmo has featured in 15 Bundesliga matches this season, contributing three goals and four assists. But Olmo is an unlikely prospect that the Blues will look to sign, as confirmed by Romano. Speaking exclusively to Kovovside for his latest column for the Daily Briefing, he said, Despite some media reports about Chelsea being interested in Danny Olmo, I'm not aware of anything concrete happening there for now. Still, he will have a release clause this summer worth 60 million euros, which will become active for the first time. At the moment, it's quiet, but let's see what happens, as he's a talented player. Thanks for your time. Smash the bell icon and subscribe so you don't miss the next update.